In this video, I'm going to go through the um, short question to the practice. And the first question, the multiple choice question says, if y equals 3x to the power of a third plus c, and y equals 5 when x equals negative 8, find the value of c. So this is a substitution question. Um, y is 5, so I'm going to um, write 5 equals rather than y equals. And then um, x, I know what x is, x is negative 8. So this means 3 times negative 8 to the power of a third um, plus c equals 5. So if you put, you get your calculator, and you put 3 brackets, negative 8, close brackets, to the power of um, a third, you will get negative 6, which means your second step is this, 5 equals, 5 doesn't change, negative 6 plus c, and to reverse that, because um, this is a negative 6, to reverse it you do plus 6, and so I have c equals 11, 5 plus 6 equals 11, so that is your right answer. And the second question, the extended question says, a curve has an equation with um, d squared y or d2y over dx squared equals 5x to the power of negative a third for all positive values of x. The point q, which is 8, 114, lies on the curve and the gradient of the curve at q is 26. Find the equation of the curve. So the first thing um, I need to do is to integrate um, d squared y over dx squared and that will give me the gradient which I know something about. So to integrate 5x to the power of negative a third, I always add 1 to the power and I divide by that new power. And of course there is a plus c there. So this gives us 5x to the power of 2 thirds. I've put that into my calculator. Um, divided by 2 thirds and then again if you put into your calculator 5 divided by 2 thirds it will neaten that up for you so 5 divided by 2 thirds and you get 15 over 2 so it becomes 15 over 2 x to the power of two-thirds and it's plus c. Now I know that this is dy over dx, so dy over dx the gradient is 15 over 2 x to the power of two-thirds plus c and I know that the gradient equals 26 because it tells me. So 26 equals 15 over 2 x to the power of 2 thirds plus c. And I know that this happens at the point q, and the point q has an x coordinate of 8, which means I can change this x for 8 as well. So 26 equals 15 over 2. 8 to the power of 2 thirds plus c and you put all of this into the calculator so 15 over 2 times 8 to the power of and fraction 2 thirds and you get 30 so 26 equals 30 plus c 
To find C, I need to reverse the 30 because 30 is positive. I need to subtract 30. So C equals negative 4. So now my gradient, I'm going to go here. My gradient is 15 over 2 x to the power of 2 thirds um, minus 4 because c is minus 4. The question says find the equation of the curve and to find the equation of the curve I need to differentiate, not differentiate, integrate again. So I need to integrate 15 x to the power of 2 thirds over 2 or 15 over 2 x to the power of 2 thirds minus 4. And again, I'm going to add one here. And I'm going to um, divide by my new power. Divide this by my new power. So I've got 15 over 2 x to the power of 5 over 3, all divided by 5 over 3. And then when you're integrating and there is no letter here, it's a number on its own, um, you just add an x. So minus 4x plus c. And we need to tidy this up because it's a bit messy with a fraction here and a fraction at the bottom. So this really means the numbers 15 over 2 divided by that. Everything is divided by that. Um, this part, which is algebraic, is divided by 5 thirds and that number is also divided by 5 thirds. And you would put that into your calculator and 15 over 2 divided by 5 thirds is 9 over 2. So I now have 9 over 2 x to the power of 5 thirds minus 4x plus c and this is finally equal to y and I need to find c again and I'm using the point q again and this time I'm using both the x and the y so y equals um, 114 9 over 2 x is 8 in the brackets to the power of 5 thirds minus 4 times 8 plus c and you can put all of this into your calculator so I have 9 over 2 brackets 8 to the power of 5 thirds minus 4 brackets 8 and this gives us 112 so 114 equals 112 plus C so I'm going to subtract 112 from both sides and this gives me C equals um, 2 so my equation finally is y equals 9 over 2 x to the power of 5 thirds minus 4x plus 2.